Whenever I think of mothers with their babies in strollers, I think of this rocking movement they make to keep the baby calm. So when I saw this beautiful stamp set from Colorado Craft Company, there was no question I had to turn it into an interactive card reflecting this rocking movement. And that's what we are doing today. My name is Julia, I'm an enthusiastic card maker and paper crafter from Austria. Welcome to my channel, Julie's Kreativschatzkiste. So Colorado Craft Company is one of the super sponsors of Kendra's card challenge number 13 and they kindly and generously provided some design team members with the stamp set Amazing Mom. I love this stamp set. Not only does it show how many things a mom can do at the same time in the image, it also includes really nice sentiments. To color the image I want to use my watercolors as well as my watercolor pencils today. I stamp it out with black archival ink on mixed media paper. As I want to make my card interactive I have to stamp it out twice because I have to separate the stroller from the mom. As you can see here I actually stamped it out three times just to be sure and to have one extra if something goes wrong. Before I started coloring with my watercolor pencils I searched my stash for the right colors for this mouse family and I also made some swatches which you see in the upper right corner. I always try to have one lighter shade and one darker shade for each color so that I can bring some dimension into my image. And while I'm coloring I can tell you that this is actually a giveaway hop. In my description box there is a full playlist of all the hop videos where my design team members and me are creating cards with this stamp by Colorado Craft Company. I really hope you check out all the videos, I'm sure they're giving some great inspiration. In order to be eligible for a digital giveaway prize from Cards by Kendra, you have to fill in a form which is linked in my description box. The deadline for filling out the form is March 22nd in 2024. The winner will be randomly chosen and announced on the Cards by Kendra community tab. As I'm by far not finished coloring yet, this is my chance to tell you about Kendra's card challenge as well. Each quarter Kendra provides 15 sketches for free. The sketches can be made out of 6 sheets of 6x6 inch patterned paper and you get 15 unique cards. In addition to all the card sketches and the measurements of the individual cards, Kendra also provides cutting templates for your patterned paper. And all this is completely free, you just have to register for Kendra's Patreon, but as I said it's for free. You will find all the details and links in my description box. Kendra has a lot of great prize sponsors and Colorado Craft Company is one of them. For your chance to get one of these prizes, you can enter the challenge by submitting a photo of all the 15 cards you made out of the challenge to the Cards by Kendra Facebook group, which is also linked in my description box. You can participate once per month, so actually three times per quarter. The current challenge number 13 runs until the end of March, so you still have some time to make your cards. But even more exciting, in April there will be a new challenge coming up. So these are my colored images finished. I just need the stroller for one image and the mom for the other image. I cut out the images with my scan and cut and I also used the generated cutting files to cut out the shapes from white paper which I just glued to the back of my stamped images to give them stability. Now it's time to put together our base card. I'm using sketch number 8 from Kendra's card challenge number 13 which is the current one. However I will be making a change to the card sketch because because I'm not using it in a vertical but rather the horizontal format to have enough space for my stamped images. I have already prepared a light blue blank card and I'm now trying to find the right papers for the strips on the bottom and on the right side of the card. As I want the stroller to be moving a little bit I cut it out now together with the hand of the mom because I'm making a hole in the other stamped image where the armpit of the mom is so that the arm of the mom can extend through the hole and move backwards again. That's the plan anyways. The stroller will move through a pull tab mechanism so I need a small hole and a strip at the bottom because underneath the green strip there will be another paper strip to which I will glue the stroller and then it will move when I pull out the paper beneath. So I'm now calculating the size of the hole so that the stroller doesn't move too much. In the meantime I have now cut down my strip to the correct size according to the sketch and my hole, just in case you're interested, is about 4mm by 7mm or 1.5 inch by a quarter of an inch. I cut that out with my crafting knife. And just to be sure and for additional stability of the strip, I doubled it up. So far so good. 
the paper strip, which will be pulled out afterwards for the movement, is made out of the same green paper. But I haven't cut that yet, because first I have to attach the foam tapes to the upper strip, so that I know how wide the paper strip inside the pull tab can be. As I don't have much margin on the upper and lower side of the hole in my paper strip, I had to cut my foam tape into really thin strips because I didn't have such thin strips. And just to be sure that nothing sticks, I used my anti-static powder tool on the inside of the foam strip. Now was also the time to measure the space between these foam strips for cutting my pull tab to the correct size. And then I attached my green strip to my card panel. In addition to the foam tape, I used some liquid glue to have some wiggle room left. And this is not a grass my mouse mom can stand on. What you see here is my white gel pen, with which I kind of try to erase the stamped lines on the arm of the mom, because I don't want them to be seen when the arm extends as the trolley moves. Then I reduce the width of the arm a little bit, so that my mechanism will work better. For my mechanism I need a hole in the armpit of the mama mouse. And through this hole, the arm, which sticks to the trolley, will move out and inwards. Now it's time to color the arm a little bit more, just to have this optical illusion that it's really the arm of the mouse. For extending the stamped black lines, I just use this pen. Okay, now the construction of my base card continues. I have cut the strip on the right hand, according to the size given in the card sketch. Now I start decorating my background. I just take a little bit of watercolor paper here, and with a wet-on-wet -wet technique and blue watercolors, I tried to create a blue sky. I dried it with my heat gun so that I can continue working on my card immediately. For the sun I had the sun dye, also cut out of watercolor paper, which I now color in yellows. As my sentiment on the front of the card, I chose this You are rocking mom, because I just think it fits perfectly to the theme, the rocking stroller. I heat emboss the sentiment with white embossing powder. Then I cut down my watercolored sky and I place it together with the watercolored sun on my base card. I use liquid glue to adhere all of that and I just check if there's enough space and everything fits. Then I searched my stash for a pull stamp, which I used on my pull tab. The pull tab will be standing out of the final card base a little bit, so that it will be easier to hold for the card recipient. In the next step I can already place my mama mouse on my card base. For this I use foam tape in order to compensate the height difference as my green strip on which the mama mouse is standing is also attached with foam tape. Only for the bottom part of the mouse, for the feet, I use liquid glue because they are glued directly to the green strip. My trolley has to be attached through the hole in the green strip to the pull tab. I also use foam tape for this, but just two small stripes on the tires. When attaching it to the pull tab, I have to, to see that the position is correct and that the arm of the mama mouse is within the armpit hole. Also, as the pull tab is not extended right now, the trolley has to be on the most right position on the pull tab, so that it will extend out and move if the pull tab is pulled to the left side. I was actually glad that it was really working at this point. As there were so many nice sentiments included in the stamp set, I used some of them on the inside of the card as well. And additionally, I had one stroller left, which I also had colored before, and I used that on the inside as well. So the last step that is left is to attach my card panel to my card base. So that's my Rocking Marm card finished for today. I really hope you like the card, and I can just encourage you to check out all the other videos included in this hop. Additionally, I really hope you will try Kendra's card challenge, it's great fun. Don't forget to fill out the form, which is linked in my description box, for your chance to win a prize. That's it for today. See you next time. Servus!